Yeah. The one that you explained that you're getting. <laughs> yeah. But before we get into that, I'll be on this power here. And. Hi there again. <laughs> I'm back. I literally just woke up. <laughs> oh. Like, no joke. I was just like. Well, I think I woke up around like noon. Oh. But only to turn on the AC. And then I went back to sleep right after. <laughs> I don't know. I've been tired lately. But yeah. But, yeah, so I guess. <laughs> I don't know how to start this one. Well, but, like, basically, like, that. this. So, this is our, like, stuff for the month of June, even though this is gonna. This oh. is gonna. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, because it's gonna be, I guess, separated by, like, the months. Because <laughs> I. This is gonna at least get released in August. <laughs> Actually, it's gonna. Wait, it's June 30th today, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, like, it's gonna. Yeah, so this is the last day of June, then July is gonna come in, so this should be this video is gonna come out in August. But basically, um, yeah, this is our stuff for Mandarake of June. I didn't really have much of a plan, Zarkin had much more of a plan, so. Oh, after, after. Cause, um. What do you mean? No, I meant for like the stuff we got. <laughs> Cause I oh, I wasn't really thinking of like anything. I wasn't either. Like I didn't really know what the plan was. But Should yeah. Just start with the smallest. And then well, I was gonna out. say like, cause like, so like oddly enough, the way these packages are like separated is that like, for the, so like, basically two of these boxes we have shared, and then like one of uh, these is like for ourselves. <laughs> this is it weird? Because, um, the spoiler would be that you wanted a Tsukuyomi card? Because it was just there, so it was like, might as well get it, but then, like... But then it sold it? out. We, like, the first like, one sold out. Like, these so, two smaller ones were, like, the stores we attempted to get it, but then it sold out either way, so it's just, like... And it's like, okay, what's the point? Um, should I just open this one up? Oh, I was gonna explain how we're gonna do it. <laughs> Go ahead. Cause I so, because like, so, <clears throat> basically, because we need more versatile versatility and such, basically, um. Don't you mean variety? I don't know, but like, so. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, I. Yeah, I remember which one specifically what, okay. but um. So basically, I'll be opening these two, and then Zarkin will be opening. Actually, not two. I'll be opening one of these, or I can we'll be opening one, and then, like, we'll go back to the other. But I think we were going to do the shared ones first. Okay, I had no idea which ones were those, right? So, like, this, I think... Well, this one's definitely the Sapporo one. I, this one was definitely the shared yeah, one. And this one's Nagoya. So, these two we're going to do. You're going to do those first? Yeah. I'm going to open the one that we just got done. Because technically, the Sapporo one could have been our cheapest one, <laughs> but then again, if like we did like just ship it out like that with DHL shipping, it wouldn't be worth it. But yeah, so like... Yeah? No, I mean like the other two things. Yeah. But, um... This is flatter than the rest of Oh, that's right. Let me the that. There's only one thing in here. No. <laughs> so, wait, what was... Didn't this say that the window was all broken or something? Yeah, it was like, you know, off or something. Oh, yeah, because this is... there's one else with it, too. Yeah, these two cute Tamas. Oh, that's what's wrong. The, the two promotion ones. <laughs> I was like, something's wrong. I, I don't want to do that, though. <clears throat> These were like two dollars each, and it's just like I feel bad for the people that got these initially, because these I think were like fifteen dollars. <laughs> I think that's why it was a good idea. Good idea that we waited. Well, you didn't even like Cheer Ranger. <laughs> at the time, I still gotta watch the show. Yeah. Because like I think I have to watch the movement. Well, let's see if that's the movement. 
Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. I mean, I didn't, I didn't hate it. It just wasn't the same, and then now I'm just like, I should probably get a, I should probably sell one. So yeah, we got two more of the power-ups, the Pegasus and the Oguma Kyutama, so now we just need the Kakuju and Dark. <laughs> Yeah, that one's this one's Nagoya. So this uh, Nagoya, I don't want to say was our main one. No, well, technically it was. That one uh, I just got because it's like I've been looking at the mine for a while, and most of it was pretty expensive. <laughs> I think that one was like the cheapest one I found. One of them. So I don't remember what exactly was a part of this one. <laughs> oh, but wait, wing form was supposed to be in this one, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, I thought it was the other one. But You know, at least I can say this time around, I actually got the cheaper stuff, so that's good on me. <laughs> yeah. But, um, like, weirdly enough, I think it was during, like, May and such, like, our last, like, Mandarake order and such, like, I just saw, like, Fang Jokers just dropping in prices, and it's just like, well, okay then. And then this one has just been sitting there, so it's like, why not? Yeah. But then, this was on you. Oh, so. I mean, I've been no, saying like, that I kind of wanted it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize we'd be getting it in this order. Oh, yeah. Because it's just like, might as well. It's just going to sit there. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't do what you do, which is basically just like, watch the prices. I just kind of just do it. But yeah, I'll let you deal with that in your own thing yeah <laughs> but two more or one more ride watch i got so that's good and a full bottle now i just need to get that binder and then... binder yeah for what for the beetle camera oh. uh, thing because you need camera for the best match oh right. yeah. yeah but yeah, so, um, we're going to take a break off of those Mandaraki boxes for now, mm -hmm. <laughs> because, um, this one was, like, after and such, but, like, literally, like, I didn't, because, like, I've been, like, contemplating it this for, like, I think for the past few weeks, but then I was just like, you know what, I'm going to make us bite the bullet, and we're going to, like, get this, I didn't, and like I know that you don't like this place, but it came in yesterday in the mail. I cleanly ripped off the label, and you couldn't tell what it is. Well, just wait until I open this packet, because for some reason, like they put it upside down, which well, isn't. No, I'll rip it. I'll rip it the way it's supposed to be ripped. You know, no matter how much struggle it is, I guess I can't properly do it. Well, Why don't you do it like what's on um, Vulcan? No, I want to precisely do it. Get out of the bag of chips too. <laughs> well, I guess. We got Scouting Panda. <laughs> For like $35 off of eBay. Not much to your dismay. And I was like, we got that? And then right after they announced it in um, the regular stores in Japan. And you were kind of well, yeah. disappointed. <laughs> it's because like literally like, it was 3 a.m. And I was like, okay, I guess we're just going to get this. But then like literally like later, they announced like, yep, this is going to cut. We're going to make a new store. 
the common rider store and like for our opening thing we're gonna like release scout and panda it's like what the heck and like this boxes are like flat and what the heck is this is sketchy already <laughs> It's like, boxes? yeah, but I think it must have been drawn. I wouldn't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's what Amazon, not Amazon, that's what eBay is really. No, <laughs> maybe that's the easiest to take this box. Yeah, hmm. that was interesting. It's so weird because, like, this is like typically like in the slant, but like can't really like see that but yeah like literally like I told you this but like literally like two days ago I literally saw like this progress key go for like because like literally the day before that mm -hmm. it went for like 3,800 with like the package damage like this and like it went down it went to like 4,000 but then like literally like the day before the car store opened it went to like 2500 it's just like what the heck yeah. <laughs> Search. so i guess now it's like cool i have this but then it's just like Not at the price you wanted. <laughs> it's just like you know we could have just waited but it's like oh well it's i mean i was just following what you were saying yeah. it's all on you man i know because it's just like Literally, like, no one knew for, like, three months of, like, what was going to happen with this progress key. So, like, everyone was essentially just panic buying this. <laughs> because it's just, like, well, I guess, like, we have to get this now. But then it's just, like, I feel like it's just kind of on, like, it's kind of, like, Toy's fault, too, for not announcing this sooner. <laughs> so then, like... Cause like, you know, all the Japanese reviewers have technically already owned a Scouting Panda. <laughs> and they're most likely gonna rebuy it again. <laughs> so, but... Yep, there's... Scouting Panda. And I'm pretty sure this one isn't like, directly out of like, Hong Kong and such. Cause then the whole entire sticker would've been covered and would've came with the... Second set of instructions and the... Bubble wrap wouldn't have been like that. <laughs> but um so this is just gonna sit on top of the progress keys this is the first like dx one that we had that's like pearl white because yeah oh, fours yeah. is like a darkened white and such so again like seeing these progress keys in like different colors is just, like, creamy, fours yeah yeah so weird to have that one for fives <laughs> yeah. but yeah i think now this one's the kokoro one i believe <laughs> big one yeah okay. which i'm confused about i think it's yeah. the stuff one. that i have in here no you don't have anything in this one i might have in the book no why would it be that big <laughs> I, yeah. I guess we just have to see I was gonna say it, the tape sounds horrible. <laughs> Cause I'm like, I know there's five things in here, but then it's just like, what would make this one like this huge? It's one of those windows. No wonder why, there's so much packaging. <laughs> oh, that's the fifth thing. <laughs> so yeah, I, this was unnecessarily large. <laughs> so let's go over this is there five things yeah the x8 qtama and this thing decides to fall off <laughs> let's just put it on like so loose well I need to be able to do this 
but then it's just like I don't put it up to the point. It just loosens over time, is the thing for some reason. <laughs> it is because you just shake it up and down a lot. But this was the August release of the Tobikun issue, the one I think that actually officially got filled. I wonder why it's that large. I don't know. You know how the, you know what they like to do. The, one of the, or the second, um, buildable icon I needed, Da Vinci, um, which, um, is literally, and it's literally technically shrink wrapped. <laughs> you know, like, what, this is what they did before they did all those special boxes and such. <laughs> Even though with like, this is like the first one they did that actually included some. Oh, this is like the second time they did a second hyper battle video because they took the spots of the Sentai once, oh, yeah. and then like, I wonder if it actually always was like shrink wrapped. I don't know much about this one because barely anyone has this one, or people do, but it's like I still haven't seen this hyper battle video because no one has put it out. <laughs> There's that. We have the pro race key that didn't need to exist. <laughs> but it's like, double. But it's like... Why does this get its own special box for like literally what... Like, wait, don't we need... Wait, we got Chef and Spider then. No, we don't. We don't? We still need that one? Because I was going to say, like, with the Amazon Japan orders, I kind of wish I held that, because they actually finally put that at a reasonable price. Uh, but then it's like... <laughs> the Progress Hopper Blade, because it was for, like... It's for like, 20... Or 2,000 yen, and, like, honestly, it was just, like... Cause I didn't, I was skeptical with the price, but then it's like, there's a lower one for like 18 and I'm like, okay, then I can probably be confident that it actually like, it's worth getting. not that, but like, <clears throat> that's thinner than I thought, but like, that was actually going to like, be like, you know, sealed and such. And then, oh, I thought that'd be hard covered. Yeah, I thought so too, but I guess that's the thing with the EX ones. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I guess that's what the newer ones, but yeah, yeah we got the Kapto Details of Heroes EX series ones. So I, yeah, I guess most likely it's the later I ones. Guess it might have those those. We already have like three of them. Yeah, because I'm, I'm just saying like we might as well get the books done too. Yeah. <laughs> like when you think about it, since I'm still trying to design some of those things, we might as well. <laughs> and then the glue is going to be his eye. Yeah. There. Okay. okay. This one. I'm just going to get this open ahead of time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like legitimately. I didn't really think we were really going through four stores in the manga after. But I think it was all for one goal, which is basically trying to find your card. Like, that wasn't even my main goal. My main goal is just to get Fang Joker. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Why is there an extra layer of bowl? I don't know. So you can start explaining. So, like, this one was the store that we're, like... We thought we were confident on getting the card, but then, like, yeah, it wasn't. Um, <laughs> so, the only thing I have to explain is that the model kit is from Bill Divers. We, 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 Bill Divers, yeah. That's it. And one of the others. And then, well, it's what started the, to be one of the better female oriented 
mobile suits, I guess. Because the rest of them were pretty scary before that. And then, uh, the book, um, I think you just recommended it. Yeah. That's some joy. Because, uh, yeah, it's in a store, so you might as well get it. And <laughs> yeah. plus, I like it, too, so why not? Yeah, and here it is. Yeah, that, I think these, like, the older ones are definitely, like, a lot, like, cheaper, because these are apparently, like, $15. <laughs> and we got that one for, like, oh, it doesn't, I want to say it's, I want to say we might have overpaid for this one, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> but, yep. But hey, we there. got more reference material. But then it's like, we got nowhere to put them because that bookshelf is full. <laughs> yeah. But who put them in that bookshelf? Who put what? The other three. <laughs> in that bookshelf? Yeah. Um, I think you might know. Oh. Uh, it like, wasn't me. Oh. Because I was going to say, like, it's really difficult trying to, like, to, like, go to that bookshelf. With all the stuff in front. Yeah. But. Yeah. I can't help you with that. <laughs> also, we might need more batteries now, do we? Yeah. Dang it. We don't have enough, do we? <laughs> like, because we only have, like, 12 triplets. Oh, I was talking about the cell batteries. But, yeah. Well, I don't know what more. Like. Oh, yeah, we need to stock up on cell batteries. But, like, Again. It hasn't even lasted like a week. <laughs> but, like, leg legitimately, we can only do, um, I think from the seller that we get it from, we can only do one each order. It kind of annoys me. But it's like, most of those, most of the cell batteries went to the gas jets that we had. <laughs> yeah, because most of the ones you got were used. <laughs> yeah, they didn't come with batteries at all, so... That's because they said they were used. <laughs> yeah. Right, and if I said, I guess... It's not too bad. I would just need to find a cheap gamer driver. <laughs> um, what else? The triple A's, we could just get. Because we only get, like, those big packs and they last a while. Yeah. Uh, what else? Is that, is that legitimately all the stuff you bought? Yeah. Okay. Technically, I wouldn't say that's a lot. <laughs> oh. We saw how much it was, but that's mainly because of the shipping. But, yeah. It's, it's gonna be a thing. <laughs> hopefully, it, hopefully it doesn't kill us in the future. It already has. Yeah, it kills us now, but... Let's just hope that the next one isn't as expensive. Well, not the, not the upcoming one, but the maybe the one after. The one after? Because <laughs> uh, I'm just thinking about it in terms of when I get paid. Oh. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, I guess we're both regretting stuff. But at the same time, we're kind of happy we got it. We got it done and over with, anyways. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't really have anything else to say. And like, you just stop talking all of a sudden. I was like, oh. Oh, yeah. I don't know what else to talk about. <laughs> <clears throat> just being conscious about the time, but. <laughs> oh, boy. We should probably end it soon then. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, that's our haul. I got 2D women and a belt, I guess, plus a book. And you got the rest of the stuff, which was, like, more cheaper. Actually, yeah. like... What do you read the most expensive thing was Joker, which is stupid. How much was he? <laughs> 25. <laughs> you got, but the, the most expensive for me was the Omogeo driver. Yeah. And... I guess I'm totally fine with that, because I don't think he was going to get cheaper anyways. And I still can't look at the fact that it looks like fish. <laughs> it's just the way it's designed. 
I mean, you got the you got the two Jiku drivers plus the whole bunch of ride watchers. Two. Uh, two. I mean, two <laughs> drivers from Geo, and then I got that one, so it makes <laughs> sense. Plus, I like Omo Geo not because of his character, because he didn't have one. Just because of the way he acts. Just the way he is, really. Because he's just like. Just be, imagine just being a big bad and just do nothing. <laughs> like, just do not like, get nothing and just know that you're overpowered to the point where people are like, oh yeah, he, it's all his fault. We had to kill him. I don't know. That is, that's what I got out of it. And then to be erased from history. Twice. <laughs> so it's like he's not even phased about the fact that he disappears from history it's just the fact that he's content with he's like that I was gonna say he's like um, what the, those parents that are like so super lenient but like just easy what what is that word like they just let everything go oh and they don't really care <laughs> <clears throat> it's not neglecting though but it's like he knows what the, he knows what's at stake he goes like do what you want I don't know now I'm just looking at the little out like hands on his head and it, I can't I can't help but remember coming out of sorcery oh at least that's what I think yeah I don't like it <clears throat> I don't like how his RKF is 30 bucks, though. It won't be. It won't? <laughs> like, like, obviously, on most stores are listed for 25 Well, uh, even I don't like that. I feel like it should be a little cheaper, because he only comes with, like, certain hands. It's because of how how complicated his figure is. Yeah. <laughs> but it's only going to be the front part that's painted. He has this hand, hand cape. Like drapes, that's why he's thirty. <laughs> like even zero two is thirty dollars. Yeah, which kind of sucks. I would like to get both of them though, but only because like Oma Geo I kind of like, but then zero two I like because it's simplicity. Like that's why we're holding our HL Jake box until August. <laughs> when did we do it? Like earlier this month? Yeah, we did that with these orders. Oh yeah, that's also why, because we, the entirety of what our plan was, like, I guess originally, in my head, it was HLJ, and then we went to Mandarake and got all that, and then we went to, like, Amazon Japan, and that's how we got the Zero Two stuff. Yeah. So, in a way, I didn't really expect to be going to three stores, three or four, four plus eBay. So, yeah, I didn't expect to go through that many stores. <laughs> Plus four stores in Mount Dorake. <laughs> so, it was a lot. But I kind of learned something in the end, which is basically, we should probably limit that. <laughs> it's like, what we do, like, what happens if we go if we go shopping in the real world, or if we go to a mall, like what happened when we went, when we went out of town that time, $500 all together. Yeah, I think I only got like... You only got like a board game. That, I don't really consider that to be mine though. I want to say I really only got one <laughs> book. <laughs> Throughout yeah. that whole trip, I only got like one book. <laughs> and then, like, I think I got stuff out of it because I got a Transformer. I don't really remember. Like, I could have gotten a Wii game, but then they're like, they're like, oh, that's not in our system. <laughs> oh, yeah, and you got Psycho Blue, too. Yeah. Because I found it. <laughs> weirdly enough, Psycho Blue is still the best Psycho Ranger I have right now. But then it's just like, now they're doing the Psycho Ranger team pack, and it's just like. like oh, my God. Like. Cause that's what most people. That's what. That's why most people are speculating. That's why GameStop was having like huge discounts on the Psycho Rangers. Cause what are you like that? The two pack became like ten dollars, and Psycho Blue became like two dollars. 
Well, weirdly enough, Psycho Blue, out of all the other figures I have in that Lightning Collection, is still the best. Because <laughs> by far, I have no problems with them. Still, Psycho Red's right arm came off. I'm like, how does that work? <laughs> uh, Shadow Ranger's left leg is still kind of busted up, I guess. Magnet Defender's arm is warped out of the, like, proportion. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I really don't like the fact that the person that boxed it literally just bent the arm sideways. <laughs> like, his arm is broken by the, at this point. If you think about it in realistic, like, realistically. But, and then, um, Galaxy Red is still in the box. So I guess he's fine. <laughs> I'm just I'm just waiting for the line to actually do a figure I care about. Because <laughs> yeah. they were so close with Zeo Gold, but then I'm like, uh, no. Like, he comes with a human head. <laughs> what if they came with, like, um, the White Thun Dino Thunder Ranger? Yeah, he's rumored right now. Oh, okay. Because I was, I was going to go with the Japanese name, but I was like, wait, I should probably try to at least exercise my Power Ranger, my, like, memories. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. Because I'm not really willing to get another set. <laughs> and Especially because, like, I was so into it in the beginning. And then it kind of let me down. <laughs> so I'm kind of skeptical about the Psycho Ranger thing it's just going to be recolors but I'm just like I'll get it because it's the Psycho Rangers but I'll probably keep it in the box uh, red and blue mostly unless this red is better because no one has well their figures are totally weird yeah, their figure quality is just not good <laughs> it really isn't <laughs> The only one I actually thought was good was the Spider-Man figure that I have. Which is the only one I have of the Marvel thing. And it's like a figure like that. It's like, oh, it's not bad. Just wish it came with different hands. Like, my issue with Hasbro, like, with Power Rangers at least. Because I didn't experience this with the Yokai watch a lot. Well, like, mm. with both of them, my issue with them is distribution. Because the way Hasbro's distribution is very horrible. <laughs> like, yeah. and I forgot to mention too because this is supposed to be the whole part I did get Steel finally for like 4 more dollars and I got Vargoyle now I just need Beast Deck to go which again, talking about distribution that's horrible <laughs> man who, it's like, I was going to say if you have a problem with Hasbro I have a problem with Toe Collectibles now <laughs> still <laughs> But I just think it's funny. Like, I think now I'm just making, like, poking fun of it. It's like, hey, where's my Kira Majin? Because <laughs> I feel like I'm going to get the other... I'm going to get King Express and, what, Gigant Driller? Driller? Gigant Driller. Yeah. I'm going to get those first before I get Kira Majin. Yeah, like, that. that's just really odd that, like... Like, yes, you did pre-order it last minute again, just like with Brain and such, but it's but just brain, weird. But Brain came in. Yeah. That's the problem. It's the fact that Toko, like, Toko Collectibles hasn't restocked on that yet. Like, but like what someone I said, feel like I can't really blame them yeah. for like not being able to restock it. But It's, it's just, just like, weird. Because now I'm just sitting, and then next thing you know, I get Victory Robo. Before that. <laughs> yeah, most likely you will. <laughs> yeah. Like, I... Sadly, I'm getting Victory Robo and Grand Liner. Not at the same time, I think. But, you know. They both come out in June or July, right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna get those two. I don't know how I'm gonna build them. Because I kind of wanted to do a thing where I just record myself building it. Yeah, just do it. <laughs> but I'm like... I think it would be better to live stream. But you're going to get interrupted. That's why, like, I want to do live streams too, but it's just like, I know that I might get interrupted, so that's why I just have to record really yeah. long videos. But I can't do that on my phone, because you know how it is. Because it's like <laughs> 10 minute intervals. 
Yeah. Yours can go on forever, but it has problems afterwards. Yeah, honestly, I just I just stopped like trying to like just use my pen drive because I because like what are you with like my zero two unboxing like I tr because that's like six chunks. I tried moving that in my pen drive and it wouldn't allow it because it's too big. So I'm like, forget it. I'm just gonna now just film whatever. <laughs> yeah. The zero two thing was actually pretty nice to handle. I I was playing around with that when I got back one day. Yeah. So. Yeah. But it's, I don't know. It's it's still really dumb how HLJ handled it. <laughs> yeah. Because like, like what if for like a whole entire week before it actually came out, they only had the set. So like anyone that actually wanted it individually couldn't, and then when they finally listed it, it just like it was just gone. <laughs> Because then, like, then, like, I could have, like, held off on, like, Zero Two, but then it's just, like, I couldn't. <laughs> but then, um, obviously, like, with HLJ, they didn't do any, like, the Ultraman promotions. So, like, anyone that got the Zet Riser or the Zero and, like, Zet Origin, I believe, vinyls, they did not get the Zero Mantle nor the Zero and G Metal. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just, like, oh, that's fine for me to hold off for two months then. Just like what I did with Taiga. Because <laughs> HLJ just doesn't do promotions anymore. And we're doing the same thing with Zed as well. Yeah. Um, just like, holding off for like at least a couple months. Well, like on the like Taiga, we didn't pre-order it. <laughs> just because like... Like to me, honestly, it's just like... Yeah, with Zed, I am kind of tired of like the fusion thing. Like I can, uh, I can agree with like, you know, like I guess most angry people that... Yeah, doing fusions is kind of, like, tiring. Because especially, like... Especially because yeah. it's not going to be on par with, like, is your, or like, with Orban Jeed. Yeah. But then it's just, like, at the same time, like... The thing that, like, they obviously do to make it stand out is that they're doing triple fusions. But then it's just... Well, like... Well, I was going to say, luckily, like... I saw on Kotetsu that, like, the Leito... Uh, access card is actually for like I would say affordable price so like I guess that means like I guess that's a good sign of like seeing his car like that zero access card being cheap cause he had it for like ten dollars yeah but like like yeah maybe we can get that like if it's still like available in two months or unless like it just gets marked down by a lot but that's that's the thing I want like Cause like the thing I've been like I don't know if I've like met, talked about it before but like the thing I like notice of Ultraman is that like their stuff get like marked down during like half life of the series. Yeah. Which is cause like, you know like. I don't know like, if that's a good thing though. Cause like, yeah. <laughs> I, I I feel like, despite the fact that they have to like make sales, I still like the fact that the the cast is just having fun. Yeah. And like, I think that goes for like all the other shows. It's it has they're fun, but then like I guess when you think about it, most of the stories just kind of get botched. Like Geo. Where, <laughs> I remember they did this thing, where they when they did those half episodes, and the actor still goes like, "I'm gonna go co complain to producers," and they're like, "When he did that." That's when they oh, that's when they um, just kind of jumped the entire story of Oma Geo. <laughs> or like trash day. I'm like, oh okay. And it wasn't wrong. Oh yeah. I feel like oh, actually going back to Geo, I kinda wish that they would have shown like another like the Oma Geo's backstory, like the different path that he could have chosen. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Like, that might be for, like, novel stuff, but then we still don't even have any details on the build novel, <laughs> besides the fact that it takes place after the Grease V cinema. Yeah. Which is interesting. Because, like, the thing is that, like, they, I, well, I believe, like, the build novel got announced, like, during, like, November and such, but then, like, suddenly, the... Zangetsu novel got announced. Or like, they, more information. Or like, they actually like 
announced it officially because I think it was. I think because I think that set. The Blu-ray got released in October, and then that's where they announced that they were doing a novelization of the stage play. And I think at the same time, or a month later, the build one got announced. But then, like, the Zangetsu stage play novel just got released, like, earlier this month. Yeah. <laughs> but. It, it's like weird. The novels weirdly have been, like, kind of slowing down, which is weird. Because I think there's, like, a huge, like, gap, like, two-year gap between the Zangetsu stage play and X-Aids. Oh, yeah. And, like, I know, like, there's, like, just a bunch of messed up, like, behind-the-scenes stuff with the ghost novel. Zack got delayed, like, three times, and it got, like, separated. Like, I know, like, the story's, like, separated into three, but it's just really odd of, like, just, like, the stuff they try to do just to, like, explain the mess it is. <laughs> yeah. I should think it's weird, though. Like, oh, wait. Did I say four stories? Yeah. Because it was Mondo AK, HLJ, Amazon Japan, and eBay. There was five stories, actually, I was on. Because yeah. there was also the Amazon Amer- uh, Amazon US. Because <laughs> um, I needed to get earbuds and batteries. <laughs> I think that was the one with the batteries, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then that one got separated into four packages. Which is weird, because it said that, like... <clears throat> it said that like three of them were gonna come together to one was separate but then each one kept or no actually like, um, throughout the entire the Beast Morpher like, stuff came together but did it? Yeah. yeah like I guess what came first was my earbuds cause I was like I need those right away I don't know why but and then the next one was the batteries and then the next one was the Beast Morpher stuff yeah but um yeah again I just need Beast X Yellow but did we like just like did we just stop our like conversation with how we think of Hasbro. Yeah, we <laughs> I did. think we did. But, like, basically, like, because apparently, from an, from what I'm hearing, Beast X Yellow is actually, like, readily available. It's just Vargoyle is the difficult one, but it's just, like... He wasn't difficult. <laughs> well, the thing is that, like, he actually got put up on Amazon, like, first. And then the Beast X Yellow did, too, but then, like, her page is wiped. So that's annoying. Uh, <laughs> so, okay, let me see how it is. So it's just, like... The be- like, my like the distribution like issue I have with Hasbro like also goes along with Yokai Watch too because like I think when the f- brand was dying here that's when like I saw like the se- second wave of like Yo Motion and like the thing too is that like with the first year I think series like three and four of the medals came out like during the summer. Everywhere else, like, I think in, like, certain places, but then, like, during the next year, that's when Series 3 actually got readily available in most places. I don't think Series 4 ever got, like, readily available, because that's when the brand died. And, like, I think in, like, like, Europe or something, they actually got the third watch, (laughs) and, like, we couldn't, because it died. Oh, yeah. And then, um... Cause like I was actually excited for the third watch, even if it Which was, one was that one? the the type U or the model U technically. Oh, I don't know what that looks like. So yeah, and, and then um, with Beast Morphers, obviously um, there's the issue with the Zords because the Racer Zord and the um, the, I don't know what the. Mantis is called, <laughs> but but like those two, I, the Striker Zord, I believe it's called. No, it's called the Striker Megazord. But uh, those like red and gold Zords are like still not available at places. Yeah, and like lo- yeah, oh, okay. and like the Gorilla, Jackrabbit, and Scarab are like. Stranded in Targets, because Targets the only place apparently that has them. Because yeah. no store wants the Zords anymore, because of what Ninja Steel did. <laughs> what did they do? They just make the the repaints. Oh. Fuck. That just sat there. <laughs> so like, 
Yeah, I don't. I honestly don't know what like Hasbro's going to do with Dino Fury. Yeah. Like besides the Lightning Collection, obviously, but like with the main toy line, I I really don't know what they're going to do. They better keep it in line with the, with the Japanese one then. Because <laughs> that was the entirety of Mio Soldier. It's like it, they had that entire. If I could bring out that mini plot that I have of them, I can. It's kind of covered with RKF figures at the moment. <clears throat> but if you saw the monstrosity I made out of that, that was like the entirety of the line itself. It was just <laughs> have fun with it. Because it's just like blocks. Le- it was technically Legos for dinosaurs. But the downside is that I didn't know what to do with the head, so I just stuck them wherever. <laughs> Sadly. And then... I have so many problems with the mini plus right now. But that's for a different story. But problems as in like trying to get them, but also being too lazy to put the stickers on. <laughs> well, like Packy Dar is really your only like challenge. Yoki Ryo get like put gets puts up. Yeah. Put up which is stupid. But then now I'm just wondering is like if I get those I can't mash them all together. Because um one, the Kishiryu I have in there is combined with Kishiryu Neptune, and it's already a mess enough with everything else slapped onto it. And then, um, Yoku Ryo is gonna be on his own. Just, com- but, just make Kishiryu Jin jet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh well. Because that's the only one I can do. I even, I, I. I forgot that formation existed. <laughs> Actually, no, I could just put the... I could just put those stuff on uh, Kishi, Kishi Ryujin. Yeah, that's what I said. Kishi Ryujin Jet. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, com- I completely... It kind of went over my head. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, it's not bad. And none of it yet. Like, I guess, like, going back to, like, how they will handle Dino Fury. Because, mm. like... I hope they don't pack the real souls with like the figures, cause I that I didn't like they did the beast morphers, but I understand why they did it. But with the real souls, I like I have a feeling they might do that, and it's just gonna like bug me. Um, but it's not like, cause honestly, like I'm probably not gonna pick up the Dino Fury stuff honestly unless they, like it actually catches me. But like. Honestly, like, I guess, like, after getting the Beast Morphers stuff, I'm just, like... Like, you know, with after, like, the disappointments of, like, making the Striker Morpher or the, um... The... The Morphin Blaster, a Nerf Gun, and, like, obviously, like, them just, like, removing the Lyo Blaster as a whole for, like, three weapons. <laughs> yeah. But, That's like... pretty messy. Because, like, I honestly probably go back and get the go buster stuff because like, i looked at monoraki and i'm like these prices are like more not affordable what, no like the the gb custom Pfizer is like the only one that's up is like literally 40 dollars i'm like that's not worth it for a piece of plastic and like lens <laughs> yeah because like and it it's sealed so i understand that but i'm like why? <laughs> because I guess I would rather just get this stuff loose. Yeah. But. Plus, like, I feel like the Go Buster stuff are a little more higher quality. I mean, like, yeah. the the Morpher for Beast, Beast Morphers is actually not bad either. Like, the Beast X Morpher is a good toy, but it's just, like, I'm like, well aware they're not going to release all the keys for it. Especially because we have no idea about if they're going to do a wave 6 of figures. Yeah. <laughs> because, like, like this is going into spoilers. Because, obviously, we're still on hiatus here. But, like, we don't, like, we know that, like, that, like, lion, like, the, like that lion, like, armor, that figure, red figure they showed at Toy Fair. That's clearly not in the show. <laughs> So it's just like that's like technically the only figure that they showed at Toy Fair that hasn't like gotten released that they showed. We have no idea if they're actually gonna release like Robo Roxy or like any more like villains. 
Because, like, the only other figure we know about that we're releasing is the Beast X Armor Blue, which I'll pro I'll get the Beast X Armors when they're on sale. I don't want to get them at full price. <laughs> Especially if I'm just paying for the same figure. <laughs> but It's understandable, though. But, yeah, that's the problems with Hasbro that we have so far. And, like, also, like, besides the distribution, I would say with, like, Beast Morphers specifically, or from what I get, like, the paint feels, like, cheap. Cause like, it's all scraped on. Yeah. Like, every time, like, I mess with something with the Beast Morphers, like, the paint just scratches. How do you think I feel about the Lightning Collection? <laughs> Because it's I basically think... because of the paint that the left, all their left ankles are sucky. <laughs> and it's like, I don't know. And the only problem I didn't have a problem with that was Psycho Blue and Spider Gwen. <laughs> so one out of the many. And it's kind of annoying. Yeah, it's just, I'll say, like, I. Like, despite its, like, distribution problems, I would say, like, Hasbro handled, like, Yokai Watch a bit better than, like, Power Rangers right now. <laughs> and weirdly enough, they're, they're handling Transformers better. Like, obviously, because Transformers is their main thing. Yeah. <laughs> which is why, kind of like... weird. It's like... It's just, like... Because I think... I know, like, technically, like, I think, like, the issue with most people have with Hasbro is that it's just... Well, like, I don't think this is, like, right now... This is like bef this is like earlier, but it's just like Hasbro's just kind of like letting the property just sit. But like obviously, like we know they're like doing like good stuff to it now. But it's just like yeah, the like you see is the issue. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and then um, I I don't I don't know. If if we're getting a wave six or lightning collection, or I don't know the listings of that yet, because all we know right now are just like the stuff that are like within the codes and such. So we know about the Psycho Ranger team pack. We know about um, Omega Ranger and his bike. We know about Dino Thunder White, and then we know about Draken Evil Three, and some. Dino Rangers or Dino Ranger special thing, but we don't know if that's Lightning or not. Yeah. But I'm just still waiting for Lightning to do something I care about. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong about that either. Like, I think they got me really. They almost got like again. They almost got me with Zeo Gold, but they almost also almost got me with the um. Lightning Collection Power Morpher, because that thing can actually, like, read, or that thing can actually know which power coins you put in, and such. And, like, it, it actually looks more accurate than the Bandai one. <laughs> yeah. Because like, the thing with the Bandai, I only saw the Bandai one, Bandai <laughs> one like, twice at Walmart. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. Like, first one, I actually... The first time I looked at, like, up close, the second time I, like, saw from far away, or maybe it was the other way around, but... Yeah. Like, my issue with the Bandai one was that, like, the die-cast plate was just too much. <laughs> so, like, I like... With, like, Hasbro, they're, like, approaching to, like, how it should look like. Yeah. And, like, it's going to be a Walmart exclusive within, like, September, and it's for, like, $50, so I'm, like... I don't really have a connection to MMPR, but it's like it's kind of cool. <laughs> it's but I guess it was the same reason why I got Leo Pardon. I have no con like, connection to him. But I'm only doing it just so I can respect the guy. Yeah. <laughs> but although that kinda of just sounds pretty bad too. Cause that's just saying like I got this version of Ichigo because I want to respect the original one. I should have gotten the original one then, instead of the the new I Neo Ichigo, whatever his name is. Yeah, I guess that's just me with like, I guess like getting the like, watching Rudder Gashats is like, oh yeah, I'd rather just get these despite me not liking them. <laughs> like the Legend Game Gashats is literally just like two more and such, technically three again, but like we don't have to collect them all. It's just the fact that we're just getting some that we like. Yeah, and then. 
so I was oh, just playing oh, the beast one. Yeah, I was wondering what that was. I still need, like, two more rings, and I'm, like, I can do, like, what I want to do with beast stuff. Although I still need it, need to situate some things with it, but... Because, like, I literally just need the Kimarais and then his, like, Paw Monster, which I technically could have gotten it, but... Wasn't that a griffin? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll get it the next time, because I think I have somewhat an idea of what I'm going to aim for next, even though it's not going to be for something I want it for, but it's, like, it's mm -hmm. technically, like, the quote-unquote middle ground of it, and I'm just, like, I need to get it over with. Yeah. And, I was gonna buy new bat more batteries. <laughs> yeah. But I'll definitely say um I don't think I'm pretty sure next the next time we shop in Monterey, okay, it's not gonna be a lot because I don't really have a lot in mind. I never really like, had a lot. Maybe in mind. like <laughs> I guess like, the closest we I, we could have gotten this one that I kinda wanted was uh Ryu Kendo. Because I already got the figure, but that one's kinda loose. I think I put yeah. it back in the box. But I found the the transformation thing for Ryu Gunnel. But it's busted. And the Magnum was there too. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, I, I don't want to fix it. Yeah. Oh, and also the thing I actually found yesterday too that I think might have to pursue us to like pick it up next time. I actually figured out there was a details of Heroes for Garo. <laughs> Dang it. Wait, for which one? I think the first series for sure. Okay. Now I got an now I got an idea of how to go for next. Because I didn't realize to do it for for them too. I actually like I like how like details of heroes is like you know expanding and such because I think yeah. I saw like, people scans of like the anime versions or the manga version and anime version of Ultraman and Gridman specifically. Because mm. those two obviously had a collaboration. I mean, that, that would actually be nice to get, too, because I do like good man. Well, I, I think that's, like, a part... I don't think they're, like... It's the... I don't think they're their own book. I think they're just part of, like, the magazine they're normally a part of. So... Still. I, I think it's funny. I originally want... I watched the original version of good man. But I think that was, like... Didn't you watch of, it raw? Yeah. <laughs> the entire day of it spent two days watching it raw. Because no, no, no one had a subtitle. I'm pretty sure there's subs out there. Yeah. Not from the side that I got it from. And I also got B-Fighter and then B-Fighter Kabuto. <laughs> and then Black and Black OX. Yeah, and that was it. Most of those were like 50 plus episodes. Oh. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> but it, it, it was generally the same formula in Gridman. Well, the original show, main bad guy, the main bad guy is basically hates the world for no reason. And for example, he was just taking, like, he was just peeing outside. He got yelled at, and he was like, oh, I'm going to kill this person, because he yelled at me. It, it was a whole bunch of petty things that he got angry over. <laughs> it was funny. And then in the end, he realizes he did something wrong and then helped the main characters. And then there was supposed to be a sequel series, but that got cancelled. Yeah. And then you, then you get the Gridman Grid anime, and that was, I guess, a successor. It's definitely not my thing. <laughs> it really isn't. <laughs> but I did like it. Like, like, I, like, I guess I'm just gonna say, I just don't like the publicity that SSS Gridman got. Like, I really do not like the... Yeah, that kind of publicity is kind of... Different. Like, that, like, turned me off completely. Like, yeah, I don't like this at all. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm definitely sticking with the original. <laughs> and then, like, with the new one coming out, it's just, like, it's just souring me more. I'm just like, yeah. Oh, I'm... yeah, the... Dino Zeno? Yeah. Yeah. Um, they did show the cast and stuff, um, like, I'm gonna hold off on it. I I, I don't really know what to think about it besides just wait until they actually have a trailer or something. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like, even then, I wasn't really focused on the, the, what they were focusing on, I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, I feel like a lot of, like, a general, like, anime viewers, like, ruined it for me. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Like, it wasn't not... Like, it's not like I was going to watch it anyway, 
But it's just it's like... It's the stuff you saw about it, like the memes. Yeah. It's yeah. just like... Wow, like such a way to disrespect the like, entirety of like what Gridman was supposed but to I be. Was, I think it's funny, because I wasn't really focused on that. I was more focused on the fact that people were just comparing that to Shattered Glass Transformers. <laughs> And they weren't wrong, in a way. Because, like, every character was colored in a way that compares them to, like, other characters. Oh, yeah. I think... I feel like that was done purposely, but I, yeah. I'm not sure. But I just thought that was funny. And now we have Heisei Generations Forever. Like, I think next month gain simulcast. Not simulcast, but, like, that's getting put up on Tokushatsu. Um... The funny thing about that, I realized I didn't need to go on to Tokus Shoutsu to watch Kong Rider Kuga. Because I could have just watched it on VRV. Which is funny, because I thought it was exclusive to Tokus Shoutsu, and then I checked on VRV and found out they have both Kong Rider Ichigo and Kuga. I think it's anywhere like where Shout puts it. Yeah. Like such. Yeah, Shout Factory. Yeah. So I'm just like, I don't need to go on um, Tokus. I don't need to go to the main website to watch it then. <laughs> like, I guess it's... I guess it's exciting that they're putting out a movie, but I honestly would have... I think this is a they bit... They could have been better movies. I think this that. is a bit extreme, but I think they should have just put out the whole, like, Heisei Generations trilogy up. <laughs> instead of, like, forever. Because then, that like... That's the last one, isn't it? Yeah. Because I understand why they're putting forever. It's just so then, like... So then later, I guess people can suggest, like... Oh, yeah, I want this series to be on here and such. But, but it's just, it, like... It, that movie didn't really give them justice. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just, like... I don't understand why they wouldn't have just put, like, Geo and that movie up. But, they but then, like, done I guess, like... I guess what I'm assuming... Like, after what they're gonna do... Like... Is that they're probably going to announce Zero One is going to be up there after it's done, like, Aaron and such. That'd be funny. Because I, because from what, like, we know with Saber is that they're clearly going for, like, they're clearly going to, like, do, like, they're, they're clearly going to simulcast that somehow. Because. But then from what I know is blocked off in our country. No, I, well, I don't think they're going to do that this time. No, I, I would just like, laugh if that happened. Or, like, if the bots like, got them first, again. Because the, th the thing, like, because a lot of people are, because obviously the logo got revealed because of the trademark and such, which yeah. is not, which is the first for Ryder, but it's pretty normal for Ultraman. So, yeah. but, like, basically, um, a lot of people are speculating because, like, basically, with Kamen Rider in Japan, it's already done so much that, like, they can't really, like, technically target that audience anymore <laughs> like they can't like just constantly like target that like target like domestically so they have to like go out or so like they're obviously going to try to go out and like get like you know the west and such or i guess like to correct this the west as in the americas because <laughs> i don't want to anger those that sadly cannot um get um you know free or localized tokusatsu <laughs> so you know those darn Americans. <laughs> so basically, because the logo like emphasizes on the saber and not like the comrade part, and like obviously like the the lo like the English text of a comrade like saber is not actually like it's like prominent and such. So like, query with saber, they're going, they're trying to aim more like a like larger audience and such. But what were you gonna say before all that? I kind of don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. They have to do like involve around like. Was it good, man? No. Like localization and such, because like, I think I, we we're t still talking. You were still talking about like if they like block it off and such. Oh no! Yeah, that. Um, I was just joking around saying like they might get attacked by the bots again. <laughs> but because um. When it comes to that, uh, one of the virtual YouTubers I watched came back after her long hiatus, 
and she started eight minutes in a stream on the first day back and she got she got banned <laughs> immediately eight minutes after but I think some people might know what I'm talking about but that, then uh, she came back but she had to change her uniform or her, her design so <laughs> like she came back right after because they could do costume changes on the fly so then it's just like that happened it's like oh okay so she didn't get banned the table contents of us. <laughs> yeah, we should probably end it now. Yeah, for sure. Um, oh yeah, we're also not going to talk about the Shout Factory podcast. Because I've heard some pretty nasty things about that then. Like, uh, with like, what, just that one host? Not the host, but the co- like the guest. The whole were. thing in general. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that, like, in the, some of the other ones that were different, I heard that some of the comments were pretty good. But, I don't know. I, I don't want to dive into controversies within the fandom. <laughs> like, yeah. in this video, just because, like, it's, it's already, like, really, like, bad. It is. <laughs> Like, I guess that's, like, I'll just say this, that's why I'm just happy I'm not as heavily involved in it, but then also that is a burden, because, you know, to get yourself out there, you have to be vocal and such, it's just, like, that's really dumb. Um, <laughs> Cause that's it's just fine. Like, it's just, the, I think it was the fact that it's for the wrong reason. Because when you think about it, these could have been better if but, they were a little more open-minded. Oh, are you talking about Tobishatsu and such? Their podcast, yes. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about me. No. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> no, I wasn't talking about you at all. Because oh. <laughs> I'm like, all I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to show people I can actually do stuff. <laughs> no, you don't. You didn't start a controversy. Controversy. Yeah. yeah. I'm talking about the Tokushatsu podcast. Yeah. Because episode... They don't have episode 2 listed. <laughs> and then I... I don't remember, like... They like, the last have... two episodes were controversial. I think... They don't have the, four. I think last week's episode was actually pretty good. Mm. That one actually sounds like... Something interesting. <laughs> but... Yeah, episodes 2 and 4 they don't have. Which is weird. But... You know... I... I guess... I, I only watched the first one and was like, oh, it's just like what he usually does, basically. Yeah. But especially but since I, it has I, to be on a professional platform, that that thing kind of thing can't fly. Yeah. Especially <laughs> because they use the one word they're not supposed to. <laughs> and like, people have all, like, all reasons to be upset at that. <laughs> because yeah, it's like... Yeah, because it's like, have you guys seen that show? Uh, have you guys seen this series? It's not that at all. Is your phone dying? <laughs> it's at 20%. We're good. So it went from like 70% to 20 Okay. It wasn't... Because like last time we filmed, it was at um 20% and it died. Oh. But I guess like... I guess we should explain what was supposed to happen at the end of the previous video. Because... <laughs> so like... At the end of like the last unboxing and such with the Q Ranger stuff, um, I was telling you about like Beast Morphers stuff, and I guess I, at this point I should say like spoilers. Wait, <laughs> but, do you like, mean that second part that, that was completely corrupted? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we uh, let's not do that again. Let's not go into that area again. No, because I need to correct you on that because like, because like literally his like. His full name isn't Joe Chaku. It's literally like just Chaku, but like his, I think, I think the Joe Chaku was like a joke people made, but I just uh, wasn't aware. <laughs> but like, cause his full name is Captain I, Chaku, and such. But like people actually really like people really like that Ark and Beast Morphers. And like, I saw a little bit of it. It's like okay, that's actually pretty. They actually saw the spoilers. Yeah. Oh. oh. It, it it was weird but it, it wasn't too weird 
It was like what they had with Power Rangers when they met with Black OX. You mean Black Mask Black Rider? Black. <laughs> 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 I listened to that opening for the first two seconds, and it's like, it's literally just a backstory. Like, literally, I don't know, from what I heard, from, like, from what I heard, apparently they were trying to, like, aim, like, Mask Rider as a sitcom. I'm like, how can you have a sitcom, like, an action sitcom? I haven't heard such a thing. <laughs> and that's why you don't hear about it anymore. Yeah. Because it never went well. But, like, yeah, like, Basically, for my, like, I still have yet to see Beast Morphers, because I still have yet to see Super Ninja Steel, but, like, obviously I've read up all on all the spoilers, because that's Cause just how just I... that type of person. And because it was just there. Yeah. And, like, I guess the way, like, I guess what I can say about, like, how Beast Morphers is ending is, like, I'm happy I actually did watch RPM. <laughs> yeah. I-, I saw that, too. I'm like, oh. Very creative. Cause, like, who would have thought? That's all. I can say. Like, Cause, like, who would have thought? Yeah. Like, like just what Beast Morphers does is just like I have to agree with most people. It's just like, how could this be a better twenty fifth anniversary season than the actual twenty fifth anniversary season? <laughs> Cause literally, like comparing that, like I, cause like people were comparing the penultimate finales to Super Ninja Steel in Season 2 of Beast Morphers, and then they're, like, drastically different. Like, because the huge deal with the penultimate, like, the huge deal with, that led to the finale of Super Ninja Steel was the fact that the Yellow and White Rangers were breaking up. <laughs> that's kind of stupid, actually. But, like, I didn't really think about it, uh, about Beast, uh, uh, Beast Morphers until, like, I saw that they were literally just using everything they had for Power Rangers. Oh, you saw that too? Yeah. Like, I am kind of, like... It, it was kind of weird. Some of it didn't, wouldn't really make any sense. Like the Mystic okay. Force thing? The phone, the phone for that? Like, why do they have that there? But, <laughs> but that's just me. Yeah, most people are just, oh, like, I guess, like, what we can mostly assume, they, like, they're, like, replicas, or they were just the clean-up clean up crew at uh, the Legendary Battle. <laughs> that might have been the case. But, like, but if they're the clean-up crew, they didn't die. They probably just... Didn't. Well, the thing is that, like, what we were supposed to assume with the Rangers in the Legendary Battle is that it wasn't actually them. Like, that's, like, probably the best explanation. Like, it was the, like... Embodiments from the Ranger Keys, and I don't know about Super Mega Force. <laughs> Go Crazy kind of did a did a better explanation because they're all like they're all in one world. They all have this giant battlefield. It's like okay, let's all go. And even some of the original actors came back, and that was cool. Well, like I feel like like the issue with Super Mega Force definitely is that they like. They literally just held off and like got all the actors for this one thing. And it's just like I would have just preferred if they like got them gradually, because then like when they try to do tributes to series, it's just like empty. Because it's just like, look, this is the Wild Force tribute. We're gonna pronounce the island wrong, and we're gonna like get a lot of information wrong. <laughs> it's just like, dude, if they want to do that, they should have just adapted Geo. Yeah, but I feel like here. Oh, well, I feel like at least now, at least, like now, Geo would be at least like, you know, they will actually like reconsider it. Mm. And then like with the RPM tribute, they're like, look, it's Corinth, even though it's clearly not Corinth. It's <laughs> weird. And like, what are you like the the only reason why the Jungle Fury tribute happened was because the one of the writers for the series was actually like the actor himself that did it. Mm. So, yeah, and then like we only got like the one samurai tribute, like the only one because it was the previous series, like, the <laughs> easiest tribute, and yet they kind of just didn't do much of it. No, technically, I think the samurai tribute was actually pretty good, oh, yeah, but because yeah. like the way they actually like did things was pretty interesting. Like, I guess to get around the Sentai footage mm-hmm. was like easily yeah. enough. You know, if I ever get any solo figures, I'm gonna use this ghost as a base. For me, like, for me now, like, obviously, like, now I have to technically get solo figures. 
Because they announced it. Yeah. So, like, I'm probably going to go. I'm just trying to figure out what else came with that one. With what? With Sufiyomi. She comes with the Fies Phone 10 and the, no, I mean, the like Luminous the Fact. That come with her. It's 0 2, um, or 0, uh, Briroth, <laughs> the Magir, Mag- Magia, um, and the Trial, not Trial by uh, the, the... Humagir, um, Type 1, I believe. The oh, the, old, the Type 1 box? Yeah, the old generation. Okay. I, yeah, that wouldn't be too bad to get. I think the one I'd be more like. Well, like I'm just gonna get them individually, just cause like getting the package. Is oh, I was just gonna say, <laughs> some of them are actually pretty good. Like Zo Two is one of them that I kind of want to get. But it's gonna be weird, cause we have the RKF for, Ryzen Hopper, then we got Assault Hopper, then we got Metal Cluster, and it'd be kind of weird to not get Zo Two. Uh, it's just gonna be weird that we're gonna like be split because I'm gonna have like the hybrid rise and shine and assault hopper and then you're gonna have metal, metal cluster in zero two. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, the beginning and at the end. Literally. It's like I don't know. It's just funny that like literally like, the, cause like we're literally both split on like two riders. Cause like I have half of gates and you and, like you have the other half and I have half of zero one and you will be getting the other half <laughs> of zero. Yeah, zero one. And then, cross is kind of weird too, because I have magma and you have, uh, charge. Oh yeah, that too. <laughs> um, but other than that, I've, it's only been me that's been getting most of the RK ups. Really. Yeah, well, like, because again, just like the lightning collection, it's just like you have to grab me. <laughs> yeah, and like they, and for me, it's already grabbed me enough, and I'm just like, okay. And it's just like the RKF one is just like. To me, it's just going downhill because they now like suddenly they're like, oh yeah, I, we finally remembered that we finally like that we have other series that aren't double, mm-hmm. because they literally do almost the entirety of double because like technically yeah. double's done even though there's like clearly they can do like what's like technically like they can just do what Soto's doing because there's still Axel or Axel Trial Axel Booster. Eternal Red Flare, and yeah, technically those three because they wouldn't make like extreme gold nor skull crystal, Oy. nor um like that yellow axle or axel and um. I was gonna um, say come Cyclone. I f- yeah I can see them doing that, but then like I don't like. Yeah, seeing him will be pretty interesting, but. Like, be. he'll be, like, in, like, in between. Yeah. <laughs> because, like, technically, like... I don't know, I feel like... I don't know, the RKF one is just kind of, like... It's kind of... just. Well, like, I was gonna say, like, because, like, they did, like, things, like... They did the V-Cinema forms, or x and Or they did, like, God Maximum Mighty. And then they did... Then they did cross builds. So, like, seeing Cyclone actually wouldn't be, like... You know, like, a shock... <laughs> I feel like what they should do next is Gaim. If they want to go for the multitude of writers. But See, like, I'll be interested in Gaim, but I'm just kind of worried how they're going to handle it. Uh, <laughs> because it's just like, I don't think they'll they'll look great, if I had to be honest. No, they're just going to be at once. Because that's why I feel like they should have just, they should just do, like, they should just go back to, like, doing some phase one ones. You know what I'm going to sure. If they did Gaim, they're probably going to have it colored, but the shoulders are going to be completely orange, and the back is going to be completely silver. And then the base body is just going to be blue. Yeah, because, like, the thing with the Gaim is that they do that, then they have to use two plastic colors. But, like... But they have to replicate that metallic orange, too. Yeah. And they're going to totally miss that out on the back hood uh, flap thing for the orange. Yeah, because I feel like if they do the back, it's either just going to be, like, it's going to be blank. Like, it's either going to be blue, silver, or orange. I think it's just going to be both. It, like, the back is going to be silver on the body, and then the undersuit area is just going to be blue. Yeah. <laughs> and then this weapons are going to be two colors. One's going to be orange, or basically 
No, at this point, it's, it's just going to be one color or the other. So it might be, like, either orange or blue. Yeah, or and then you get... So you're going to get a Die Die Mario that's, like, either completely orange or blue. It's most likely going to be blue along with a Die Die Mario. No, oh, I... I said the Die Hard Mario, you mean the Mutual Saber. <laughs> Did I say that? Okay, weird. But, anyways. I guess it wouldn't be bad, because, like, they could have just done Kuga right off the bat. Yeah. Like, Kuga. Like, the weird thing is that Kuga and Agito are very simple to work with. Yeah. But then you get Ryuki, and that's probably going to be, like, 30 plus because of his events. No, he's going to. If he's 30 plus, then he'll include Drag Rider. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what they're gonna do. Like, it's I, not Ryuki without him. Or without it. Unless you. Like, just get the figure right then. <laughs> yeah. I think it's funny. I have the figure for Ryuki, Ryuki's, like, stack right there. And then I've got the SIC right in front of him. <laughs> and then I, I kind of wanted to get that other. SIC Ryuki because it kind of looks cool. Oh, yeah. But those SIC figures are so expensive. Yeah, like typical SIC SICs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, now, the I kind of wish that they did more of the Kiwami Tamashis. Yeah. Which reminds me, where did the Hippie ones go? I thought you boxed them. No, yeah, they were boxed. I just don't know where I put them. Oh, wait, I found them. Never mind. They're under some things. <laughs> so, do you think this is a good stopping point for today? Yeah. Okay. Because, <laughs> so, like, you know, I don't know how much more parts there will be. Well, there's always going to be another part, but, like, July is going to be, like, up in the air. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like. We spent a good hour. Yeah, it's. Hour and twenty two. Yep. So we could just make this into a partial part podcast kind of deal. Just talk about whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I'm actually pretty happy that we have batteries for the gas jets now. My only problem is that they never came with the tabs. Yeah, exactly. So they're gonna die. That's why I get. That's why I don't. That's why I char- now I'm being really cautious of like things that come with batteries of like making sure it doesn't say used. Because if it says used, then that clearly means that, like, they're probably either not going to come with their batteries or tab. I still have the gum from the Amazon figures that I unboxed. <laughs> and yeah. I think it's weird, because lately I've been looking into, like, wanting either the Neo Amazon's driver or the CSM. Just go for the CSM. <laughs> like, yeah. But I think that Neo Amazon's is, like, basically close to that, too. Yeah, but, like... Um, I I could honestly see them do like a way better version afterwards. Because I feel like what the, if they do like the Neo Amazon driver, they might call it like the one point five like double, because it like the Neo the Neo Amazon's driver is already CSM quality. It's just under the DX te- Not title. Not really that it didn't it didn't really have anything else. Because like I feel like all they're gonna do is that they're obviously just gonna add like the same things as the CSM Amazon server. They're gonna like just like the dialogue in it. Yeah, the dialogue and quotes and like more sound. Or the the thing is that the sounds are already like show accurate, so I guess like just higher quality, like speaker I guess. But yeah, like literally I just see them doing like the dialogue and like quotes. So like I can, so like doing that wouldn't be difficult. Really, no, yeah, it shouldn't. Like, yeah, it, oh, like, I can see it being, like, the same, oh, it wouldn't be the same price, because, like, the thing is that the Neo Amazon's driver was already, like, in the hundreds, I think, when it was, like, in pre-order, but then, like, I can see it go for, like, more, like, I can't really see it, like, double, because that would just be ridiculous if it did. <laughs> Because I can't, like, see, like, a $100, like, CSM quality DX toy go up to, like, 300 <laughs> Just I because mean, of its... Oh, well, yeah, because the Fies gear... Like, that's because, like... I would say the Fies gear, like... The Ryuki stuff, like, O's and, like, Fies... Those things are justifiable for being 300 Because of all it comes with and such. Yeah. But then it's just, like... 
obviously us being cheapskates, we want <laughs> to get them cheaper. We're not ready to. I'm not ready to throw my life down for that yet. I've already yeah. done enough of these, but that's because of the shipping. Yeah, because like. If I had to be honest, I'm, like, fine with, like, CSM stuff, like, being, like, 150 and such. I mean, because... we're one, we already getting one anyways. Yeah, like, because that, I hope it's at least around, like, at, like, under, like, 110, because then that'll be okay. That'd be nice. Next thing you know, they do that for the Hibiki um, thing. I don't even know, I don't even know what they would be doing Hibiki. It's just going to be the full buckle. <laughs> Oh, obviously, because <laughs> they did have the DN driver. Yeah. But I'll definitely like for them to do Arito because he really needs to get a CSM treatment. Yeah. Especially because next, well, like I, f I feel like they probably will do it next year because then they'll be the twentieth anniversary of Arito. So. Yeah, and they already did like the phase ones of all the riders other than Arito. And Hibiki. Well, hip yeah, other than those two. Cause then, like, obviously, with Kiva, like, Kiva would just got stuck in the, like, the memes of, like, huh, he never got made <laughs> of, yeah. like, his figure art, and then now he got CSM, so it's just, like... And then Itza uh, got released, to, uh, not released. Well, it just mean, like, Kiva as a whole. Yeah. Cause, like, Kiva got shafted with no figure art. <laughs> Which is weird. Cause, like, the only other figure art you could recall is basically his Emperor form. Yeah. But that was pretty decent. But, like, uh, I'm just waiting, holding out for like, Dark Kiva stuff. Mm. Like, definitely. <laughs> I didn't know like, you liked Dark Kiva. Well, he's just generally my favorite. Like, I think, to me, he's just my favorite Dark Rider as a whole. <laughs> just because, like, I don't know. Like, something with Dark Kiva I really like. But then, like, Kiva as a series is, like, I think is alright. And like, I think it's just because, like, that dark red and black with the green. Or teal green, whatever it is. Yeah, and maybe because a Toyo became the second user, he became my favorite user of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I feel like uh, is it, I think it's also because like he's also the only character that's been that can use him the most, and then like he only, he used him three times three and times. died. Yeah, it, it I I didn't watch Kiva so <laughs> I don't know I was just seeing some bits of that and it's like oh okay, but. I don't know. I guess if I had to think about Dark Riders, I'm a little biased towards Ryuga and like mainly because Ryuga is kind of like one of those big prominent characters. Yeah. And then oh. Bujin Gaim just because it's Bujin Gaim. Yeah, I feel like Bujin Gaim is kind of underrated. <laughs> it is. Like, dude, I still I... want to make a story where it's like Bujin Gaim became Omajio and just basically doing a facade against Tokyo Sogo. <laughs> And like how we're gonna like incorporate like the paradox word mute into it, <laughs> or could like paradox word mute be the reason why there's three versions of him? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Plus the paradox word mute was gold as well, so it'd just be another geo. Like I really feel like like not again another geo ramp, but like I really feel like the paradox word mute got really he got wasted in that like first three-parter because like they reveal like like okay so like they revealed it last minute that it was the paradox word mute all along that was another drive but then throughout the whole, whole time the yeah. paradox word mute was aura so it's just like why, why what do you mean another drive wait what <laughs> because we're talking uh, about Joe, right yeah he said another vo the paradox word mood was aura. Yeah, because he he copied her appearance, um, and technically throughout the whole time we're supposed to assume, oh my gosh, aura became another drive. Oh, that's and bad. it's like, but then when she got defeated, it was revealed that this whole time it was the paradox word mood, and it's just like, what? <laughs> like, There's too many things that are weird with Geo. Because this is that this was technically the movie arc. Of where, like, but it's just like, wait, so, Short summoned these Dark Riders, but then he was just able to summon the Paradox Roid Mute. I mean, like, ten, you can say because he was Dark Drive, 
that he was able to summon him. But it's just like I don't think that's the case. Cause like when you think about <laughs> it, well, he did he did summon like the last the final enemies for. That's when he the took Conan the series. But like, I don't think it was because he was able to summon them. He did that before um, Geo became Oma Geo. Yeah, but the thing is that they clearly established that like he was only able to like summon Dark Riders. It's mm, <laughs> so weird. But like, how is he able to summon the Paradox Bird Mute? There goes my phone. If like, <laughs> cause technically, again, the only loophole of this is that the Paradox Bird Mute was technically Dark Drive. <laughs> so. Wait, so yeah. did it have Dark Drive and the Paradox Bird Mute? Because if they had them both together, that would be messed up. Alright, I guess, like, technically, like, he summoned Dark Drive, but then, like, obviously, like, the Paradox Word, like, he probably told the... I think the Paradox Word me just decided to do its own thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's kind of weird. But then technically, like, it would have made... It made more sense if they actually showed him. Now it's at 10%. Because, like, Dark Drive is another... Is technically the future drive. But, like, the only future writer... Official future writer we got was Aqua. So, like... It yeah. would have been neat to, like, actually have Dark Drive. But, like, you know, the, like... The one that wasn't Dark Drive. <laughs> Let's end this because I want to actually get open the Oma Geo thing. I need to take pictures of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we should probably stop it before we go on to another tangent again. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wrong. We did go on the tangent after I said we should end it. Yeah. But I guess these kind oh. of things aren't bad either. We could probably sit down for one as well if we can. Yeah. <laughs> now I gotta sneeze. <laughs> I messed up on the combo, dang it. <laughs> oh, it was probably here with the second part of this unboxing. I know the previous part was like, the previous part was like an hour and a half. This, I want to say this will at least be an hour, no, a half hour. Just because, um, I know you guys probably don't want to sit through a, another hour and a half. Uh, that's why I'm kind of, that's why I'm deciding just to film this by myself. <laughs> Zarkin is still at work. I think he will be out around like 7 or so. I actually would have liked for Zarkin to be here. Because so then I can, we can talk about like memories of heroes and Saber stuff. But, um, I actually want to update you guys. Because technically if he's here then I can't do that. So, um, yeah. Um, obviously what you saw the previous clip was in June. Today is July 26th. Yeah, it's Sunday today. I kind of figured at least one of the Mandaraki boxes will be here, but I did not expect both of them, which is pretty good. Um, so let's get right to this. Um... I'm actually gonna go from like the smallest box to biggest box. So, um, yeah. I just wanna, well, first of all, I wanna talk about the shipping of these, cause they're, well, like one, like the Sara box was reasonable. And if I look at the invoice, it doesn't have it. <laughs> but I'll, from what Zarkin told me, the Sara box is actually kind of reasonable for the shipping. But this Yumeta one, it wasn't <laughs> because this Yumeta box was like $59. So everything we got was cheap. But the shipping was $78. <laughs> so I, I am I am aware that uh the DHL prices have resin up a bit because they are technically the only um place that is still shipping stuff so i i understand that but it's just like 
literally for like everything that was at least like six to seven dollars which is like we got two things that were six dollars one thing that was seven dollars and i decided to get the, a forty dollar thing because just to make the shipping reasonable which it's still not <sighs> so yeah also um i don't know when this is i was actually planning on putting this in the video in between but I haven't sat through yet because I am working on things for the second channel still. Um, hopefully, I release this on August 1st. Yeah. Hopefully by then, the video is out on Friday. Or unless it comes out on this day. I need to finish it this week. I'm already, like, delayed and such what. Zorikin got a uh, Super Mini Pull at Victory Robo. He filmed in a boxing. I don't. He, he apparently. He also did his stop motion thing too, but. Um. I. Whenever I get to it, I would. I don't know. Because Zorikin said he only filmed the unboxing, but honestly, I'm just like, you should just. You should either, like. Do the stop motion, give it to me, so then I can put it in, and then have your, like, like, one of his typical videos on his channel, but then he, like, told me, like, because, like, we were discussing, like, oh, should, like, should I do this for your channel, or should I put it on your own? I'm like, you should probably do it on your own. Uh, like, I don't mind putting it on my channel, but, I'm like, you haven't done anything in a while. He's like, well, then I guess you're gonna have to wait for a year, and I'm just like, Really? You can't just sit down and, like, edit this? Like... <laughs> because, like, the thing is that Zorikin has a lot of, like, unfinished projects from, like, 2016 and such. <laughs> I mean, he just has no motivation of doing them. Like, obviously I can chime in and be like, oh, I can totally do that, but uh, I, I will let him do it. Because stop motion, I don't. I've done it, but I haven't done as much of it. Um, so, oh gosh. <laughs> Wait, my rocking hopper tab. <laughs> um, obviously you guys know I'm, I really want to try to keep my tabs straight. <laughs> so, like if they're already bent, then they're bent. But if they're like, if they come straight, then I want to keep it like that. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, I guess let's get straight to this. I'm going to have to either do it off camera or on camera. On camera it is. <laughs> I, I guess that's why I do the differentiate, like. Oh, shoot. Let me turn this around so then the address doesn't show. <laughs> On camera it is. I guess this is why I do try to differentiate between Zarkin and I. I always show unboxing it on camera while Zarkin doesn't and such so. Okay, well, let me sit on the side. But yeah, uh... I actually did have a huge announcement, but then I'm going to actually say that for the second part because, again, um, I'm I'm splitting this in two videos just because um, what we're getting in August is different. Because, um, again, like, I can say this, like, literally August is literally just the pre-orders. Gosh, why can't I get that? It's just the pre-orders and... Uh, HLJ. Um, I, I don't know if we already did. I don't remember if we stated what we got from HLJ. I think it's really obvious. Um, especially from these boxes. I don't think I caught that. And also, cause... I don't know. I kind of have an idea of, like, what I kind of want to do with... The said $40 item, because, I don't know, I want to do... Like, 
I don't know yet, because, um... Wow, I really like how packed this is. So... Was this worth $70 for shipping? No. <laughs> uh, there's something with the light. But I I appreciate it, so um, let me just remove all of this and... Okay, so this is technically, like, the main reason why... Well, we had a reason why I picked Yumi... You made up because technically after the four like Mandarake boxes we ordered, even though half of them were unnecessary, um, like I don't remember if I mentioned this already, but like Zarkin was like, okay, like we definitely need to like cut down on things. I'm like, really? It took you until this point to realize that. <laughs> um, I'm probably not gonna get more deeper into that just because like it's more like personal stuff. But anyways, uh, we did, I did have a reason to go here, but then, um, turns out it was in the other box. So, um, this is the main item that I was going for, Kojishi Voyager, because obviously I had to get the Q-Ranger mech now, because I am getting Q-Thomas, because of Zarkin. He, and he actually is watching Q-Ranger, which he's, in, he's actually enjoying it, which is pretty good. Again, if he was here, he would probably would have talked about his thoughts on it, but I'll actually probably save that until next time. Uh, I think he's the one I got for 600 or 700. Um, this is bigger than I expected it to be. Um, <laughs> how do I, I don't know why I always forget how to do this, but, uh, what do you do? Um, I don't want to do the same thing I did to Zryken's box and rip it, <laughs> so. Um, I don't know if I've stated this before, but, um, I think I've definitely grown on Q-Ranger's mechs, because I know initially when Q-Ranger was airing, I just didn't like the mech series at all. But then, you know, like, after some time, it just grew, it just grew on me. Uh, but then like, my only issue is that I don't know where I'm, I don't know how exactly I'm going to display the Q-Ranger stuff, <laughs> or like the mechs, this is like, that's kind of why I was like, you know, uh, this is still sealed, so that's pretty neat, um, yeah, uh, well, I'll get into it before. Um, but these, this is gonna be a first for us because um, I went on a solo kick because of the fact that Tsukiyomi is finally getting a solo. So I'm like, I went to Pond TV, watched some of their um, videos on solo, and I'm like, okay, I'm definitely in. So if you want. <laughs> This is going to be so horrible, but, um, so basically, I'm just going to say this. If you want updates on Soto, then go follow Soto Pop. They're really good at it, obviously. Um, shout out to Josh and Corey, um, <laughs> just because they're big on Soto, even though J currently right now Josh is big on Lightning, but definitely Corey. Um. <laughs> So, this one is mine, specifically, because it was the only one we can get, because obviously two, two store went. Um, I got Ryuki, or I got, um, I got 
gosh, this whole set. I got Geo Decade Armor Ryuki form. Uh, so I'm pretty psyched about that. I don't have the drag visor survive, but uh Why is this so taped? Gosh. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so... I for, I lost my train of thought. So, like, honestly, this isn't my first experience. Well, this is my... This is going to be my first experience with Soto, but I have... Pre I have experienced like these type of figures before. Obviously, Zoraikin has Shoto X Amazons, but for me, I only experienced this figure line via Yudo Q Ranger, which it, it's fine. Um, I'll actually say that because I actually uh am. <laughs> I actually do have Q-Ranger stuff now. I will finally cover my Yudo Q-Ranger set. I never did for some reason. I can't seem to open this. I'm literally going to struggle opening this, aren't I? <laughs> Anyways, um, this one is Rikens because he wanted it. Draken got a bunch more than me. Because <laughs> they didn't. Again, they didn't have the ones I. Or all the ones I wanted are at different stores. So this is one of three of his punching Kong. But his is actually back to back. Mine is literally just. Like so. So obviously, I actually. Well, I do have a body. Or I got a set that had the body. Because apparently with these forms, they only have like, uh, one of each. But, um, yeah. I really want to open this. <laughs> but then I don't want to ruin the box. Okay. This is how I'm going to do it. I This is not traditional, but... I really don't like squeezing the boxes, but... And I'll just say right now, yes I did, or... I did, well... Not me, but I told Zarkin... Or Zarkin pre-ordered the Shoto... Shoto... Um, Soto Chronicle... Gaim... Set 1 for me, on off of Ami Ami, so... That's gonna be fun. So, yep, now I got my first Soto figure, so that's really fun. Um, I forgot this came with Waz's book, which is going to be a really pointless accessory for me, because I uh, don't plan on picking it up. <laughs> because of Soto, or like, with Soto, I plan on picking up... Uh, so I got one of the Geo ones I wanted. Uh, this one I forgot they did, and I'm like, I might as well pick it up, because I actually generally do like this form. Um, obviously, I want to get, oh, because I got this one, I want to get Ryuki armor. Excuse me, that one actually is up. I might pick that one up next, although, as I stated, August for us is going to be really costly, so I think... I want, like, I guess, like, during the time we ship out an HLJ box, I want to do another order so that I can get my Sukiyomi Gamba Rising cards. And hopefully Sukiyomi Soto and then, like, others I couldn't pick up because I think also a Geo Body's up. Speaking of a Geo Body, I want to get the Blade Armor. I was actually going to get the Blade Armor within this box, but I'm like, it's just the armor? Like, yes. I would at least have the armor, but then it's just like, I might as well just have the two together. Uh, and then the last of the armor is Gaim armor, definitely, because I saw that in one of, like, the Japanese, re smaller Japanese YouTubers I watch. Uh, 
he was reviewing um Solo Ride Five, so I was like, oh yeah, Guy Marmer. <laughs> so I went for that, and then um last one I wanted to go for is Jill Trinity for sure because um I like Fusion Forms because. Because of that, I wanted to go back and get cross build uh, from Solo Build Twelve um, because I want my two fusion forms. But then, obviously, with Solo AI um, and such, I was like, "Oh, I want to get um, Biting Shark and Flaming Tiger." But then they only had Flaming Tiger. Obviously, I need both of them because Sami Tora best match. So. <laughs> Um, I'll probably get them later, but Zarkin and Nari, yeah. Uh, he wanted, he was going to get Grease, but then he rejected it right away because he said it was too small. Okay, this last one. Um, I really don't know if I should reveal this one now, or... Pixelate. Okay. So here, here's the last one. Uh, this one was 40 because obvious reasons. I know, well, okay, this is going to be a huge hint, but I'll try not to spoil anything just because it's just like... It's... I want to say it's for Steam. I think this, I know this one was unnecessary. Oh, huh, it looks kind of like discolored. But, um, it's nice to have this, I will say. Um, I'm keeping this one a secret because I'm, because of what I'm planning right now. So. But if it, you know, if that doesn't happen, then I'll just reveal it, but... Oh, the taser? Tape at the top? No. Okay. Um, let me check the condition of this, because I'm, like, really worried about this because of the fact that it was used. What the heck? There's, like, literally everything. There's this warning... All I'm just going to say is that this is going to be a nice way to serve five years. <laughs> okay. The thing, the most, I'm, the thing I'm most worried about, if you couldn't tell right, this is a <laughs> but, um, the thing I'm most worried about are the Like my That's why I'm really worried about getting like used belts now. Cause I'm worried that it's actually gonna break. <laughs> so I guess what I should say is that I actually did have the chance to get this back then, but then I rejected. For a good reason, I'm I'm not going to say it because it's hypocritical to me now. <laughs> so. I, I'm going to try my best to like, censor the heck out of this, but um... I'm going to do my own unbox, or I'm going to do it, it, its own video on this, just because, um... Just because, oh, God. Wow, it looks so great in person. <laughs> uh, just because, you know, whenever I get to release it, 
what I'll do. So I'm not. I'm just gonna keep that in. Yep, as I figured, this does not have its tab because this. Oh, it does. That's cool. But it doesn't have. I'm th I'm making things too obvious. I'm sorry. Yeah, it doesn't have batteries. That's that's why I figured. <laughs> Cause that's I don't know what Zoray can do with the last pack of. I'm actually gonna give this to one of my other previous things just because. But I don't know what Zoray can do with the last um, set of not triples of how do you wrap this again? <laughs> but I don't know what Zarkin did with I gotta make sure I'm not going over but wait okay. I don't know what Zarkin did with the last set of cell batteries <laughs> cause it's just gone um and before yeah, this is already switched on. Last but not least. Obviously, but this is such a treat for sure. Finally, I'm um, getting this in hand, and it's my own, which is pretty neat. So that'll be it for that. Um, yeah, just like that. So, I want to do something special with this item for obvious reasons. So. I'll, I'll look into more of that in the, the unboxing. But I'm happy that seems it seems pretty good. I'll say forty dollars is definitely worth it. Um, and again, uh, just finally having it after five years is pretty neat. Uh, I, again, I think the only thing about this box is that it's slightly discolored, but, um, seems pretty good. <laughs> so, I'm gonna have to, again, like, we have a bunch of boxes here ever since, like, we cleaned this room. So, like, we really need to just sort like which boxes we're gonna keep and like throw out the others. Okay, um, let's go back to the floor. Rip the label all up. So, yeah, this is the Sara box. I know we constantly order from Sara, but that's just because they literally, they're kind of like the store that has everything. I think they're the main one. Like honestly, I want. I just want to say, like, if you order from like Sara, then it's just like okay. So everything's literally just here. So let me um let me readjust things. Okay, this is literally taped. Like, this is literally glued to the box, which is pretty good, but. Okay, so where do we go from here? So, this is the Sara box. Obviously, if Zarkin was doing this, he would just toss things to me, but um, differences aside, um, let's just straight head to it. Let's just head straight to it. 
<laughs> oh shoot, that's not good. <laughs> I need to keep that intact. I need to keep this intact. That's not good. Okay. <laughs> oh, my Uri. Okay, like, obviously, this is the most important thing on the thousand driver button. Got the button, got that. <laughs> we got this Uri last Sunday. No. We got this on Monday. But Monday morning. It's like afternoons and such but um anyways um this is Riken's second one he got freezing bear so yeah and then he also got Fi's Axel or Axel <laughs> I, okay, like, I'll just say for, like, my review on the Ride Watch special set, I don't know what, like, I think I try to keep in mind, like, okay, I have to say Axel, or I have to say Axel, or, like, gosh, I have to say Axel, but then I just kept saying Axel, and it's just, like, gosh, like, what more can I, like, mess up with? Um, I, I forgot Zryken got this. Um, it was for ten dollars apparently. So, yippee! <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing that. It was just a brand new thing I brought up, and then like it just happened. Did I really only get these three? I, I guess so. <laughs> this is the thing I told Zryken to get: the details of heroes. Garo. Say, I don't know. This is a thin book, and yet it's still a hardcover. Details of Hero 2. So that's interesting. However, this is for a nifty price of like $32, which wasn't worth it. <laughs> it was originally $48. Oh my gosh. Um, I'll just, I'll just want to deal with that. Um. Apparently the condition of this is really poor because it said like the condition of it is like C plus, but eh, it doesn't look that bad. But again, I think this is just another book we overpaid for. Yeah, we did. <laughs> because the original price of this was like $23. We need to stop overpaying these smaller books. <laughs> Okay, so, um, this is bigger than I expected it to be. So, here's Washi Voyager for like 800 What was her original price? This is why you don't eat your nails. Is it weird that I'm not open about that? But ten dollars. <laughs> she is open to read. So oh, I didn't know the key Thomas are connected. But you get twenty-two points <laughs> for for something. Next up, we got Tenbin. I'll back it up a bit. Um, I apologize, the light is like poor. Uh, I got him for 800 also. Uh, is he opened or is he sealed? He's sealed. I think this guy is the most expensive. No, I got him for 800 too. So I got all of them for 800 but however I got him opened, so. This is really huge. He does come with everything, right?
Where's the cute Tama? Is this it? I think that's it. I don't know if this is supposed to be at the front and such. Well, actually... Wait. Oh, does he come in parts? That's interesting. Okay. How much points do you get for... 22. Oh, these are 22 points. So then, obviously, last but not least, um, the initial big purchase I was going to make until the other one, as I hit my lights, my first entire, <laughs> this is, I'm just going to, this is my first mech, but technically, <laughs> but this is the first, like, mech set I've gotten? Because, obviously, I got Jewel King and Jewel Wild loose, but this is my first, like, boxed, like, mech, which is impressive for sure. Uh, I got it for $30, which I'm like, I'm like, that's, that's fine, because, like, I got Jewel King for, like, 22 with no box, so... Or Jewel King and Jewel Wild for that much. So, um, man, I, this is a really compact box for sure. Let me just look into. Is there no cover? Okay, how exactly do I do? 80 points. <laughs> uh, slide out. And here comes the crumbled instructions. Yeah, there seems to be no cover. Wow, this is a big instruction sheet. So that's how you put the batteries in, and uh, those are all the voyagers and such. Let me check how this is. So I assume this is the second Shishi Kyutama. Uh, this one honestly is better than my other one because it's not as loose. And because it is, and it's consistent for once. I'm going to keep doing this with the bubble wrap, yeah? Alright. So because this one's a re-release... Oh. I thought that was the knife, but... Pretty sure this already passed in half an hour. Pretty sure. Uh, this looks pretty good. These, this is a lot bigger than I expected it to be. <laughs> I don't know. Like I just kind of feel bad for whenever I get these like secondhand because like you know these like these people actually like take the time to like put the plastic back in and yeah I'm just gonna throw it out. <laughs> making it more used. Oh. But um, Shishi Voyager. 
Yeah. So I'm gonna just put this back in the front and then. This back then. Does this go in the back or front? I'm pretty sure instructions are always in front of the toy. It seems stuck. <laughs> It seems like it gets stuck up in the middle. I'm not so certain about that, but I guess I'm just gonna leave it at that. So, there we go. Got. Sure, right now. It's Kai Tenbin. Oh, they're as high as that. Then Washi, and then yeah, the literally like that other half of the stuff was literally just darkens, which is kind of funny. <laughs> but yeah um so that it's gonna do with this <laughs> um great i was actually gonna say i'm gonna do i'm also gonna do an unboxing video of these but i'm actually going to wait it off <laughs> until my hlj box ships because I have Ruteo in that box individually because it was cheaper. So these are just going to be in their boxes for like at least until the middle of August. Also, just because I want to actually, um, again, I have things to work on, so I can't, I'm not going to have as much time to mess around with these. Um, so I guess on my downtime, which is never because I I'm essentially wasting time like yesterday and the day before I would just sit here and then like just play the stuff behind me um, So um, Yeah, I'm gonna be excited to um, Dive into this next series. I know like uh so all I need now is technically uh Gianthalo, Carabaros, and um Orion Butler. So yeah. I'm not sure if I'm see this is why I'm not so sure about me. I might I might get care of barrels next time, but I'm not gonna jump into a gigant ho or especially um um Orion Battler or Orion Butler Orion Butler. Um <laughs> I'm not gonna jump onto those two because with DHL shipping it's gonna jump in price. Uh, so because I rather ship those two together and then that'll be it 
or then maybe it's something small because that's gonna be over like a hundred dollars to what I believe so yeah but the the issue too is that I again I don't know where I'm gonna put my Q-Ranger Max because my shelf in the office has has good crew Kaiser VSX with Magnum with Splash Magic and then the entirety of my VS vehicle like yeah I should have just said like my shelf has my entire VS vehicle collection and like one side has Wild Jewel King with Condor so I don't what I have in mind is that I want to display um Super, not Super Ruteo. I want to display Rute Kirino with these three on the side. But, uh, I just don't know if I can do that. Because I'll have to, like, get rid of some VS vehicles. So I, I might have to take one of these boxes and just start throwing my VS vehicles in there. <laughs> so that I can have, like three combinations on my shelf but because honestly like the vs vehicles aren't really like doing anything they're just sitting there <laughs> so um yeah and then um amazon hold um shoot um my um kojishi is here too i forgot about him uh, I finally got Beast X Yellow in good condition, <laughs> which is a first for Amazon. Uh, so I'm proud about that. And also, um, obviously, we got a new set of cell batteries because Amazon stupidly does not allow us to buy two. And another 60 pack because this is down to six which i'll probably respectively never mind i can't uh, three of these are going to go to um kirano and then i'm probably going to save these other three for care barrels because the other item doesn't require a lot um, I really want to try to find the other packs, and I don't have to use the first two packs. Like, just give me a box set of these. Oh my gosh. But yeah, uh, that'll be it for this portion. I want to say, um, I want to say that, um, the next up. The next unboxing for sure, I'll actually give out more details on like, you know, some announcements I want to do. Uh, I don't want to do them now because it's kind of too early, but at the same time, I don't know when exactly, um, I have a feeling like the stuff for August I actually it might actually get released near the end of the month just because of how things are because I I'm gonna most likely I'm gonna compile the HLJ box and maybe one Madarake box and the pre-orders in a video because I don't think there was ever I don't remember there was ever a video that included any pre-orders I don't remember, <laughs> but cause the pre-orders are at least like, there's a lot of them. The end of August is going to be really costly for us, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I stopped it because it was running at another 24 minutes, so that's like. I'm at 48 minutes now. I think just because, actually, yeah, now when I think about it, I think I might as well just 
announce things just because um if I do it by the end of August it's already gonna happen so um yeah so this is the rundown of how things are gonna go for I want to say at least until September because uh, I I have no idea so as you guys already know like I've been uploading zero one stuff I've been up one of my zero one stuff for six weeks and now currently we're running through the ride watches or geo stuff which is four weeks I have it scheduled up to the second week of August so then that's when I assume my HLJ stuff or that's I that's when I assume I want to ship my HLJ stuff just because of I'm waiting out on two items one one of them I'm waiting for them to restock which I hope they do this week the other one I'm waiting to see if they act if it gets released in the first half of August in this or in the second half if it's in the second half and if I can grab it then I'll be glad but if I can't then I'll just have to hold it up for that but uh so after the week of ride watches, I'm actually, I'm wondering how this is going to go, <laughs> just because, um, I'm finally, like, I'm finally going to put out my review for the VS Memorial set for Blue Ranger's Pata Ranger. It's going to be three videos. Uh, we're going to have the review, the demo, and all VS vehicle video so technically the technically the demo is split into two parts the first part is like everything you can do with it and then the second part is just all the vs vehicles um i that one i still have yet to edit but i i should have edited that one but i have my second again i have my second channel which i will address in a second um and then this is what I'm because I'm either thinking of doing just fill out the whole entire week like the first three weeks with VS Memorial set review the demo all VS vehicles all VS vehicle demo and then just catch up on Beast Morphers for like four days but then I just don't know how I'm approaching this I now when I think about it, I think I'm so then I don't take up the weekends. I'm with Beast Morphers, obviously because I got Steel and then I have Wave 5 of Beast Morphers. I'm just going to release the demos obviously like after the review. Because I think that's the thing with Beast Morphers. I always just release the demo. Oh, like Sometimes. Like Beast Morphers is the only series I do it just because most of the time the toys are really one off. So... I think with Beast Morphers, I think I'm going to uh, drop the demo after, or I might, I think it makes more sense, uh, because if it was, if I was doing like a bunch of stuff, then I would have dropped the demos, like, the day after but because it's just a one-off thing i'm just gonna so like with steel i'm gonna put up his review at 12 and then at two his demo is gonna break his morph x key sound demo is gonna get put up just so then like that day you have like okay this, today's steel and then today is um wave five beast morphers so that'll be the third week of august then um I don't know when this is happening, but, um, because if you guys haven't noticed from my second channel, um, I am celebrating my, I'm celebrating five years of creating content on YouTube, which is, I guess, fun. So, um, to commemorate that for this channel specifically, 
I am going to re-release, or I'm going to release unreleased videos before. <laughs> I am going to release unreleased versions of certain reviews because um, I will say the first five reviews I've done were actually, the ones I actually put up were re-recorded <laughs> because I actually had a, a friend that I need to um, do something about not in a bad way um i had a friend that or i had a friend check on them and <laughs> when i initially wanted to start doing videos like i just sent them to them like oh hey how do you think about this and they're like i don't remember what they said but then like basically they're like you can do better essentially so like uh after like thinking about it then I finally redid the videos and such so yeah um so I want to see near the end of the month or so because that's when I exactly filmed them I'm not gonna release them when I actually released like when I actually uploaded them but I am going to release at least five videos of previous reviews and I'm actually probably also going to start re upload or not re uploading I should note that too I know I I think I talked about this before but when before uh what because at this time the demos of the ride watches that have cover I'm covering right now have not been released but I'm going to state this right now because I think I did state this in the one of the previous videos but uh my demo for um shogun ride watch set 2 evo and 5 rugen that's getting re-released but that's not a part of like this fifth anniversary thing i don't know what happened but that video got deleted for some reason because <laughs> i was scrolling through my playlist i realized it's gone then i Look through my Twitter because I know I know I shared it or like I, I tweeted about it and I did, but it was just suddenly gone. So I must have like accidentally deleted it or something. But so basically, when the demo for um Snipe and Old Dragon get released, I'm also gonna re-release some um, Evo and Regan too, just because I I don't know why that got deleted. <laughs> I didn't re-edit it or anything to like state that because I just want to keep the video in its original form. I just put it in the description originally released at this date. Um, but yeah. So I'm not going to, well, I'm not going to go into details of like what exactly is getting re-released because I think it should be obvious. I'm not going to say the first five reviews exactly, but I'm going Excuse me. I'm like besides that, I'm actually gonna start uh re release or not re release re release and I'm gonna start releasing content or videos that I stated in the past that I wasn't gonna release. So I think this was in twenty eighteen in April. Like an example of this will be um in 2018 in April, I was originally going to do a review on the two like Sonic Screwdrivers, the 11th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver and the 12th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. I did put out, like, I did a demo and review of, of both of them, but I just never edited it because I didn't like it at the time. But now at this point, it's just like, I'm just going to release it. <laughs> and then, uh... Obviously, 2017 would have been a good year, of, or would have been, like, the great year of, like, release and stuff, but I did that. I did that in 2017. <laughs> so, uh, well, actually, yeah, speaking of 2017, uh, there's one unbox, there's one specific unboxing I did not, there's actually two specific unboxings I did not edit. Just because I wasn't happy about them at the time. Just because I wasn't at a good spot. 
to which um, they were act there were unboxings to the orb stuff we received uh, so like the thing though is that this is when at the time like I didn't really care for consistency so like one half would be like on the camera and the other half would be like on my I think it was my iPod back then I don't think I had this phone in 2017 I yeah I don't believe so I got it in 28 I got this phone in 2018 uh, I remember because I again I lost my account to City Wars uh, so uh yeah so there's that orb video it happened with the other one too and then, obviously, as I mentioned before with Yudo Q Ranger, I'm actually finally going to sit down and edit those videos. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to sit down and edit those videos just to get them over with. Um, so yeah, I guess I expect... I want to say during September, just because, again, for me, it's September is my birthday month. It's not going to be like an an... Like, it's not going to be as much of an anniversary thing, but, uh, you know, just, I'm just going to say expect late August and almost the entire month of September just re like, just releases of unreleased videos. I'm mostly going to do them in chronological order, and I would note that, like, I guess I'll have this like really like I'll like obviously note if it's a like anniversary video because I'm gonna have a stupid intro in the beginning I've been using in the that I'm gonna use in the second channel so I guess that's just the thing that's how you can tell like oh this is an anniversary video uh, so I'm gonna have to sit down and like think of the layout just because I need to actually dig through my footage and just see what I have not released. And then as for my second channel, um, I well, f first thing I want to state, I finally hit 20 subscribers, so that's pretty neat. I finally hit an even number, <laughs> so I would I would say that's kind. Of, I guess I will say, like, I will at least like to reach 25 by the end of the year. Because, like, again, my second channel is very slow. Even though I'm posting more onto that. But, um... I, I really don't want to say much just because I'm really worried that I'm actually not going to, like, get it done by Friday. But if I don't, then cut this out anyways <laughs> second channel uh i've been recently i spent end of june and then july just re-uploading content i previously had on other sites so like vidme google drive and just uploading them to youtube and some twitter videos i didn't release Oh, and just because, um, I didn't feel like they were necessary with, the, they didn't really fit within the compilation. Although there's like two video edits, I forgot to throw in the compilation, so I'm going to have to release them individually. But, um, so there's that, but then, um, On Friday, which I hope it's out, because again, this is gonna come out on August 1st, but then I just wanna say, at least I hope both of these videos come out on August 1st. Uh, I would like it, I would like for it on Friday, but then if I can't, then I'll at least just try to get it done on August 1st. Again, um, I don't like doing this, but like, I would appreciate if you guys can like subscribe to the second channel. Uh, just because, you know, I'm more, I want to be more dedicated to there, uh, just because of the fact that, 
Um, as much as I like doing toy content and such, it's just that I have to, like, you know, doing toy content is costly and such, and, like, uh, I need to start doing things that don't involve me having to rely on buying things, like, as much. <laughs> Like, I want to do things that, like, yes, it may contain copyrighted material, but, like, I can actually, like, just do on my own time. Or, like, that I can actually do without, like, having to, like, um, be limited. Because that's what, like, I guess that's how I feel with this channel, with my main channel. I'm, because I'm so, like... Because I cover toys and such, I'm stuck to that. While with my second channel, I actually feel I have a lot more freedom and I can just do whatever I want. And honestly, it's just, again, as I keep emphasizing, I'm more of like a... I'm going in as a video editor. So, like, you know, yes, while me actually managing my own quote-unquote productions is required. Um, you know, it's just like I would like to do more quote-unquote production-esque stuff than like just stuff that makes it look like I'm not confident at all with my abilities because I just the way I view this channel is that like people are gonna get a miss a huge misconception of me as like oh he's just a toy reviewer and such even though I want to like showcase to people no I'm more than that I'm more capable of doing what I am here, which is what, which is again the main purpose of the second channel, which is why I made my, which is why during May I made those video edit compilations because I want to have people that aren't on Twitter see the videos I've made over the years and such. But I don't know. I can't, you know, I can't really do anything about that. <laughs> again, I really don't. I don't like. Um, I just don't like plugging my stuff because then it sounds desperate. Like, basically the idea of, like, plugging your, like, other accounts in, I guess, I get the bad, like, I get a bad stigma, like, people are just going to assume that you're just desperate for attention and such, and I, that's clearly not my intention, but that'll be it for this. So, I guess part two will wait.